we walk and even when we're in our darkest moments that there are lessons to be learned and it's not in our time. Think about Abraham and Sarah having the illegitimate baby and uh, not believing that Sarah Philippians 4.13, Paul wrote to the Philippi, the people in the Philippines, but it was for everyone throughout the world, and it's still God's word that I am know that I can be abound and I can be abased. I have lived both, and he was relating to them that I have had success and I have had glory and money and honor and prestige. And then there are times when I just fell down and out like I was hiding in a back alley somewhere by a dumpster. A base is the Latin word, the root of it is from abasement, being demeaned, belittled, let down at your lowest low in life, which took off in the um, Greek word um, as being the same thing as translated. You can study that for yourself. But he was abased, he was low, and then he has abundance. He was abound. He abounded in fame and money and and uh, prestige and things like that. Most importantly, in Christ, it's a spiritual meaning too, if you want to get that from just a natural meaning from nothing to something and no in between, no gray areas too. Uh, not having Jesus as your Lord and Savior, not having the Holy Spirit and just being so lost without his guidance. The third part, the third part of the triune, the Trinity. He is a person. He speaks with us. That's when we talk about our relationship with God and not a religious thing, but really hearing from the Holy Spirit because he doesn't want us to grieve him. Grieve not the Holy Spirit is what the Bible says. So listen to him because he's God's truth. He's God's way. He leads us in truth and to things to come. And so Paul essentially was sharing with them that in a spiritual sense, we need to be in the abundance of working and listening to God and um, not on our own in the flesh and doing what we want to do it, do the way we want to do it, when we want to do it and ending up in a bad thing because God gives us gifts without remorse. You know, he just gives us abundance without remorse in his time when we listen to him and it's not in our time. Think about Abraham and Sarah having the illegitimate baby. And uh, not believing that Sarah at 90 something years old would be able to conceive and God was able to do that because he supersedes age and time and space because he's God. He made us. We just in our limited conceptualized minds can only think about what's natural, but God supersedes the natural. So Paul was saying he's been abound and he's been abased or abased and he's been abound, vice versa. Conversely, as Christians, sometimes we feel like we have just lost it all and all none nothing is good and nothing will ever be any good or come to any good but god takes us and lets us go to those low points so when we do come into our fullness in the season of our fullness that we'll appreciate the abundance spiritually and the abundance financially in a greater way and give to others we'll have learned those lessons to give to others and be a blessing spiritually physically, mentally, financially, whatever you can do to be a blessing towards other people. And as Christians, how to share and cast your net out and win people to Christ by the way we live and the way we walk. And even when we're in our darkest moments, that there are lessons to be learned. So abide in him. Don't be dismayed. Don't be sad. Don't be in a pity party because we can all go there, you know, when we don't know. But see, the Holy Spirit sees beyond us. He made all. He knows all. He creates all. He's God's mind. And he knows the mind of God because he is God. Again, he's part of the three part, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit, the Triune, the Trinity. And so walk in the Holy Spirit and listen to what he has to say to you in this season in your life and grow from it and just be encouraged. That's my word today day for you. Thank you again for checking me out for this brief uh, inspirational word from the one who is the most high God, Jesus Christ. We thank him for his blood and his resurrection. You'll be blessed. Have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. And remember to uh, look at the bell on your screen.
and hit that notification bell. But first, you have to back up <laughs> and hit the subscription and just subscribe to my channel. That's all I'd like you to do and share this with your friends and family members if you're moved to do so. And even if you don't feel moved to do so, just do it anyway. And um, also subscribe, like the discussions, and I'll see you soon. And again, God love you. Peace be unto you. And remember, remember to walk in his abundance, even if you're at your lowest low. Thank you again. Ciao.